Welcome to Weld.com. I've been receiving a lot of private messages needing help on doing some beam layout. We're going to go through a series of videos. We're going to correct an out of square mill cut, straight cut, and then we're going to cut that square. We're going to go through a, a, a layout video on how to cope this beam for a 90 degree intersection, and we're going to show how to cut that one as well. So this first one is uh, you know, I have this beam that came in. It's painted white on the front. By the way, these have some right nasty burrs on them, so be careful when you're handling beams. But this thing, I, you know, I'm checking it out. I just want to cut a short section out of it just to demonstrate, and I'm looking at the end here, and it's not even close to being square, and that's normal. I find that a lot. So I want to go through and straighten up the end of this beam. And you know it's not super complicated but there is some methods that we use in using squares so first thing I like to do is skin this mill scale off of here <clears throat> I'm gonna use a flapper wheel might use a uh, grinding blade to reach in here and clean this up so that it cuts nice and it lays out nice right nasty burr or flashing on here that I cleaned up, cleaned this mill scale off. I'm not worried about this end. I want to come back here and create my own because again, we're squaring the beam up. <clears throat> so I just want to come over here, start on the end, sharpen soapstone. I'm going to come back about five eighths of an inch and start here. I have that line drawn. I now need to project this all the way around the beam. So the first thing I want to do is very accurately transfer this from the flanges to the bottom flange. I have the luxury of turning this on the saw horses because it's a small section. There's a lot of times you're working with beams, you're doing this completely overhead or in a fixed position. But I can turn this up and roll it around. check these and they do line up. I've already transferred those so we're square. Now <clears throat> how am I going to mark down through the center in this web right here? How am I going to transfer this to this? I've always done this and had good luck with it. Some of you may comment and have a better cooler method but I've always used two squares. One of which I love these little baby detail squares. When I'm doing this, I always push that in just a bit so that I know when this is laying on a flat surface, this corner of this blade is not interfering with what I'm trying to do. And I will bring this out here on my line and set this down and bring it up here where it touches. Isn't that lovely? And I'll reach up underneath here and give myself a nice little mark. The very point of that is where it matches up with the blade. And I'll do that twice without moving my long square. I'll do that twice so that now I have that. My blade doesn't fit in there. I'll have to grab anything.
I only need to mark one side of this. I'll cut from the top. I'll cut from the top through the flange. I'll pierce through this. <clears throat> and then I'll lay the beam down, knock the slag away from it, and make this cut from this side on the layout lines. You'll also notice this beam has a slight radius to it, which again, I'm short, I'm short of the web with my tool, so I'm just hanging this on the flange here. And I look down over the top of it and I can make that mark. I should be able to cut this, turn it and cut it, and then finish the cut in here, dress this up and bring this beam back to square. I, you know, these, and there's all different shapes and sizes of beams. There's a trick to cutting these, and that's what we're gonna show in, in the next video. Hope you found this educational. Please subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching weld.com.